All right, let's make a flower pot in Fusion. Going to be super easy. Cool, so if you don't have a new design open, go File, New Design. First step here is actually just saving this to give it a name. Flower pot holder. Then create sketch or press C. Select your top plane. C gives you a circle and then draw the circle here. This is going to be the bottom of the flower pot holder. So the smaller diameter is what you want. So measure your flower pot, put it in. And mine's 80. Finish sketch. And then the next thing you want is the height of your flower pot. So offset plane. Top, drag it up. And my flower pot was 100 millimeters tall. And select that plane, press C for another circle, go to the top view. And make sure you're on the origin. So you want this little blue circle or square. Circle, square. Draw that. D for dimension, 100, bang. Finish sketch, you can see kind of the shape of your flower pot coming together. We're gonna create loft, select, select. Over here in operation, new component, go. And now this new component is your flower pot. Next thing is the holder. So with your main assembly activated, this little dot, create new component and call it holder, sure. And the strategy here is we're going to draw a spline. So create sketch from plane. And we're going to draw a spline that shows the shape of the flower pot holder. And then we're just going to revolve it. So press P for project. And get the top and bottom of the pot. L for line down the middle. That's what you're going to revolve around. L, line out the bottom. This is how far you want to extend past your existing pot. I'm gonna go like 15 mil. Line over the top, D dimension. Grab these two. This is how wide you want to go around the flower pot that you already have. And then click fit point spline. Click the start. Click somewhere over here, somewhere over here, and the bottom. Do not ever make a lot of points for your spline as few points as possible or else your curves will look like trash okay i think that's good enough we'll go finish sketch create uh revolve around this axis and there's the start of our holder back to the front view can see that's looking pretty good. Next thing I want to do is cut out some tabs so that you can actually grab the pot out of it. So we'll go create sketch, front plane. If you like pan around, you can see we're right in the middle. Uh, P for project, grab that top line, press enter, L for line. The triangle means you're in the middle of the line. So this is constrained in the center. Highlight it. Press X to make it construction. Press L to make a new line. And draw a shape like this. Select both of these lines and go create mirror. Mirror line. Bang. So to do that, I'm just going to undo for a second. We went create mirror objects, these two lines. Mirror line, this axis. Okay. And now press E for extrude. You can see that's going out that way. Let's make it symmetric. Let's make the distance through all. Make sure the operation is cut. Okay. That looks good to me. Let's double click the extrude we just made in our timeline. In objects to cut, just cut the holder. It's like good practice to not cut through things you didn't mean to. Okay, this all looks pretty good. Let's activate our main assembly. 
Let's grab the flower pot and the holder, press M to move them. And then just turn them up 10 degrees and move them over like five mil. So now we've got some tilt to our holder. Let's activate it again. Go to the front plane, create sketch. Make sure you capture position. You're gonna lose the movement you made if you don't click it. Press L for line. And what we're gonna do is revolve a set of legs. So you want to create a couple lines. And you wanna make sure these lines are all perpendicular. They need to be, this is very important. Make a new line, this one does not have to be perpendicular, just make it wherever. It's the shape of the leg. Create arc, three point arc. Start, finish, middle, tangent. Make a tangent here, make a tangent here. It was already tangent there. Let's click this line, X, make a construction. And now we've got the shape of our leg. I think I want like more angle. Finish sketch, create, revolve, select the axis here, and select a new body for operation. New body. And then come over to the front, take that new body, or press M for move. Move object, make sure you're moving bodies, click your leg, and put it where you think it looks good. I want mine there. Looks okay. It can be adjusted later. So we are gonna now go create pattern, circular pattern, select the leg, axis. We don't actually want this tilted axis, we want the vertical axis from our main assembly or main file. So don't mess that up. Um, let's make four of them. Okay. You can see they went way too far out there. That is not what we were going for. What we can do is double click this move in our timeline and we can just move this guy in a bit. Okay. And we can also activate our flower pot holder. Press M to select bodies, select the holder and the pot, and just move them both to where you want them. I'm pretty happy with that. Am I? I think so, yeah. M for move, both the bodies. And move them that way. Perfect. Okay, activate the holder again. Press combine. We're gonna create one body from our multiple bodies. So our tool body is this big swoopy thing, our target body. Our tool bodies are these legs and our operation is to join. Now if you're over here, you should just see one body. One body, now we're gonna go combine swoopy thing with legs. Tool body is the original pot we drew and we're gonna go cut. And now our holder is almost done. Press F for fillet. Select all of these edges. Make them like a 10. And F for fillet again. These edges. Jesus. And maybe like a five. And then S for your toolbox. S. S for short cuts or toolbox. CH to get a chamfer. Click this edge to contr hold control. Select the other edge. Two looks very meh. One. One looks much better. Let's run with one. And now you've pretty much got your flower pot holder. Let's press A 
to change the appearance. I like these powder coat colors. Let's get a powder coat rough green. And as long as you have bodies components applied to, you can just drag it on there. Jump over to the render environment to make this thing look fly. Tilt it sideways. Click scene settings. Position of the lights. Drag this bar until the shadow goes kind of off the side-ish of your view. And then background color, click this gray bar, make it whatever you want. Sometimes I like to throw some red in there. I don't really know. I just click things. Environment library. I stick with sharp highlights, but warm light sometimes works out really good for me. And now in canvas render, there you go. We made a thing. Already flower pots done. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Peace.